I just wanted to make a quick video on my antique Seth Thomas clock I picked up at a flea market in uh, Sulphur Springs, Arkansas. Got this thing for 25 bucks. Uh, according to according to the uh, index card that's in the back of it, it's a uh, the model is called Sentinel. And it's from the 1920s, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So this clock is roughly a hundred years old. Uh, it even gives a little information on here. Seth Thomas began by making woodworks clocks in Plymouth Hollow, Connecticut, in 1845. He switched to brass movements, which is the actual clockworks there. Uh, until his death in 1859, he only made weight-driven clocks. Ownership remained in the family until 1932. The company became so prosperous that in 1854, the town's name was changed to Thomaston. Seth Thomas is now a division of Tally Industries. Uh, according to my research, uh, Seth Thomas, the company, uh, ceased operations in, I believe, 2009. Uh, so really not all that long ago, but uh, in general, Seth Thomas has been making clocks for like 200 years, so that's pretty cool. Uh, my parents have a clock very similar to this, and I've always been fascinated by it. So when I saw this one for 25 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Now my clock didn't come with a key, so I had to order one online which uh, luckily these are still very widely available and this is a uh, this is a two-part key here they also call this a butterfly key so now I'm gonna be able to wind the clock and uh, set the time and uh, see if this thing actually works alright so now I got my key here and uh, check this out see if I can actually get this uh, this old clock running here so this uh, this left side here uh, if I understand right actually winds the uh, winds up the inner workings here and again this is a completely mechanical clock so there uh, there's no electric electric components in it That's wound up, and then, okay, so this one goes counterclockwise, so I guess one is to wind the workings of the clock, uh, this side here is, uh, has to do with uh, the timekeeping, if I understand right, and I'm still kind of new to this. Boy, these things are really tight. But it is turning. And I can feel it getting tighter. All right. And now this uh, this center one here, uh, uh, it says S and F, and that's uh, that's to actually adjust the uh, uh, that adjusts the actual uh, time uh, to speed it up or slow it down. So slow and fast. Uh, so we won't know what's going on there until we flip this around. Okay. So now we're inside here, and uh, the one thing that I found out uh, <laughs> that it has to have, and I didn't realize it until I was picking it up and moving it around, it, uh, it has a pendulum. There it is. It has a pendulum that has to has to hang off of here and this is a very basic pendulum uh, again it says this model is called Sentinel so now if I'm not mistaken we just get the ball rolling and see if it works
Well, seems to be seems to be running. So gears are moving up in there. That is pretty cool. Okay, now so it's running. Oh, this is probably the coolest part about about the uh, about these old clocks. Is these rods here? This is actually the uh, uh, this is actually the the bell or the chime. This is the chime for. Uh, uh, I, I think this strikes every hour. I could be mistaken because I haven't had it running till now. But uh, uh, yeah, the one seems kind of flat. I'm not sure if that's normal. It doesn't sound quite right. But the other one sounds very nice. Yeah, that's really cool. So now I'm going to close this up. Actually, I'm going to put the key inside here. Okay, so it's ticking away. I'm going to turn this around. And now I'm going to actually set the time. It's roughly 8.10. Oh, whoa, eight, ten, there we go. It actually tried to chime there. Is that a second hand? No, that's not a second hand. <laughs> All right, but yeah, it's ticking away here. And uh, you know what, just for, just for fun here, I'm going to set it back, and we'll see if it chimes at 8 o'clock. Okay, so it didn't chime at 8 o'clock. I'm wondering if it's, if it's because I set it backwards. So, I want to find out if this actually works. So, I'm going to do the opposite now. I'm going to wind it forward very slowly. I don't want to mess this thing up, so I'm going to put it right... Huh. So that just chimed at like, that's really weird. It chimed at like five minutes to nine. That can't be right. Huh. I'm not sure. So it's possible this might need some kind of repair, but hey, I mean, if it keeps time, it's still worth it. You know, these old clocks are really cool. So yeah, this might need some kind of repair, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I think these old Seth Thomas clocks are really cool. So just thought I'd share. Thanks for watching.